Working at TTT Boxing in association with IFL TV. Here we have Dylan at Bar Giro training for his fight on August 8th on the Kerry Foley undercard against Ben Saver. Thanks for joining us. That's right. So, um, tough fight on uh, on the last card where we saw you out with um, with Alex Volkanovski yep. at 154. Now moving back, moving down to welterweight for for your second fight. Yep. Um, with Ben, he suffered a loss on on the same night. So both. Yeah, we both did. So we're both going to want to clear that up. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the winner winner takes all really in this one in, mm -hmm. in terms of moving forward. What um, what are you doing differently in this camp to um, to what we've seen before? Uh, well, I've recently started training at Budge Boy with uh, Dean Robinson and uh, Steve Mannix. They're just working working on my uh, my strengths and just sitting down more. Because yeah, I was all, last fight I was all over the place. I didn't know if I was a boxer or a brawler, so I was just all over the shop. So now we're focusing on what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it. Um, so yeah, and Ben was out before you in that in that last fight. Yeah. Did you get a chance to, to see much of his fight? Briefly, yeah. I wasn't too focused on it because I was yeah. up next. But yeah, he, he didn't look too strong, but he looked like he had pretty good boxing ability. So um. Got to watch out for that. Yeah, and is there is there a game plan? I know you don't want to give too much away. Is yeah. it, have you got a game plan in, in place for, for Ben? I do a little bit. I won't say much because, yeah, he's obviously going to watch this. So you can all find out in the night. All right, perfect. And with regards to um, you know, with regards to that last fight, what um, what, what do you think went, went wrong there? And, and obviously you would have taken steps to fix that. But is there anything in particular that you felt um, I'm not, didn't go your way? I was nervous as hell before the fight. So I think that took a lot out of me. And um, I got stung, I think it was in the third round, halfway through, and then after that I was just focused on not getting knocked out, because I didn't want that to happen. So that, that shouldn't have been in my head, I don't think. I should have focused on winning, as opposed to just not getting knocked out. But um, now that I've got a taste of what to expect, I'm a lot more confident. Yeah, perfect. And so we're just in your, um, in your home gym here, just have a little pan around. Best Great little spot. World. Great little spot you got up here, up on uh, the yeah, central coast in, in, in Wyong. Get daddy, man. <laughs> There we go, former uh, oh, former man, Aussie champion. He's had his time. Still... He's had his time in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> so the next bar Joe is taken over, and, yep. and in terms of looking forward, and I know you don't want to take this fight for granted or, or anything like that, but have you got any plans for yourself in in terms of a roadmap moving forward over the next year or two? Um, at the moment, it's just getting the numbers up. Really, I want to move to nine wins, uh, one loss. That's the next step and then go from there I suppose. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. And um, what were your thoughts on the, um, so this is a professional boxing Australia's first card being shown live on epicenter.tv. What are your thoughts on, on the new format and I know you don't have to sell tables so yeah, that make it really, easier. It's a great opportunity for me, it was perfect actually because I got a call, I only got a call a week ago though so I would have would like a little bit more time ideally but I keep myself fit all the time anyway so it doesn't really bother, bother me. But yeah, didn't have to sell a table or anything, so it's a really good opportunity. And it's going to be streamed as well, so absolutely, get the name out there. Definitely. Well, that, well, details will be in the bio of the video below. As I say, that can be streamed live on epicenter.tv, or obviously you can come down and see it live at North Sydney Leagues Club. Uh, any sort of final thoughts or say thanks to anyone, Dylan? Uh, thanks to uh, Budge Boy Jim, Robo and Steve. They've helped me out last week heaps. And um, as well as Taps, my old trainer, he's, um, he's, he's busy with Jai at the moment, his son. He's travelling around and everything, so um, he couldn't really focus on me much, which is fair enough. But thanks to him as well. All right, perfect. And but of course, thanks to Dad for being the dad. <laughs> uh, so you will look, best of luck, Dylan. A um, couple of weeks left in camp, so we'll catch you down there on fight night. Until then, best of luck. All right, thank you. Cheers, See mate. You later.